Uh, well, good morning. Uh, we'll continue in the last session. Uh, today we are going to discuss about total quality management construction construction management. Okay. Uh, so, so this is the comes under the CO3. Okay. So now we will see what is introduction. What is a total quality actually? Total quality management is a holistic management approach that focuses on continuously improving the quality of the products and service to meet the or exceed the customer expectation. For example, you are going to construct any project. That project will be has to require the customer requirements. So you have to, it has to meet the customer requirements. Otherwise, and also we have to check the quality. So this quality management also will be the very very crucial for this the planning construction topics. Okay. So this is a customer centric approach that involves the all employees in the organization from top management to the frontline workers. So this quality management will be depends upon entire all the uh, employees who are there in the top most to the uh, frontline workers. Okay. That uh, quality. Total quality management has been successfully applied in the various industries, including the construction. So, this we are focusing only construction. Here, we are talking about only con construction management quality only. Okay. So, in construction management, total quality management can be used to improve the quality of the project uh, projects to reduce the cost. So, alt ultimately, you have to reach the project quality, and also it gives the uh, less cost okay and increase the customer satisfaction thus customer satisfaction is very very important for the growth of your company okay next construction projects how it will be deals in the quality okay we'll see here construction projects are complex and involves a variety of stakeholders including the clients contractors subcontractors suppliers and consultants okay so first come to the uh, customer the customer will, will be the client now so who are going to deal in the project that is the contractor the contractor will not do entire structure right so he will give some some parts of the contractor to the subcontractors and it will be go for the material collection from the different different suppliers and also will be the consultants who are there in the consultants for the project finishing and project starting also why by starting so for example we are going with the uh, architect so architect fact architect is a consultant engineer is a consultant okay so all will comes under in the project complex okay the success of the project uh, construction project depends upon the access, uh, effective coordination and communication between the all the stakeholders it's very important the total quality management in the construction management is a systematic approach to improving the quality of the construction project so that's important so it, it involves all the stakeholders in the project including the client contractor subcontractor suppliers and consultants Okay, the, what are the key principles for the total quality management? The construction management included. First of all, we'll see here customer focus. So, what is the customer is asking actually you? Next, continue uh, continues the improvement and uh, employee involvement process uh, uh, and process focus. So, we'll see here what is the customer focus. The customer is the cen central focus for the quality. Uh, this means that all the ex aspects of the project should be planned and executed with the customer's needs and expectations in mind. That is very important. Okay. Continuous improvement will be the TQM is the TQM nothing but total quality management is about continuous improvement. This means the constantly looking for the ways to improve the quality of the project even if it is already meeting the or exceeding the customer expectations. So that's we have to involve everywhere the continuous improvement. Okay. The employee involvement will be the crucial actually. So all the employees should be involved in the total quality management. This means the employee should be empowered to identify the solve the problems and to contribute the continuous improvement of the project. So every employee has to be involved to the improve the quality of the project. Then only the total quality project of the construction management will be meeting. Okay. So process focus. So what is the process? So after improve employee involvement, so we have to fo uh, focus on the fo process. The total quality management focus on proce process rather than the individual re individual results. This means that focus is on improvement, improving the effect efficiency and effectiveness of the process. Use it for the deliver the project. So rather than simply focusing on the meeting of the projects and end goals. Okay, this will be a key principles for the total quality management in the construction management includes. Okay, so what are the objectives of the construction management? So we have to go with the object object oriented program okay so when only if you set the objectives then only you will read the you will reach the total quality actually okay the objectives of the construction management are the deliver projects on time so first of all you have to fix the goal so whenever my what is the my target and when is the deadline that you have to fix okay within the budget should not be cross your budget and to be required the quality standards and should not compromise for the quality this is the primary objective of the construction management okay so next minimize the risk so risk will be there but the risk should be the minimum 
construction projects are complex and involve for a, a variety of risks. So, we will face so many types of risk that will be involving in the project management, okay. That we will focus in, in detail in the further classes, what is the risk, what are the risks involved in the project management, okay. The construction management aim to identify the minimize the risk. So, in this construction management, what we have to do, you, have to sh you should be minimize the risk in the project management, okay. Maximize the customer satisfaction, that is very important. If the customer is satisfaction only, we will get the other project. Otherwise, we will not go with the multiple projects at a time, okay. Customer satisfaction, construction management aims to deliver the project that needs the, meets the or exceeds the client requirements and expectation. We have to, it is always exceeds the client requirements, then only you will get the good deed. So, what are the first of all, what are the steps involved in the project management see here. What is the first one? The project initiation. Next is the we have to plan the project and project execution and project monitoring and control and project closure, okay. So, these are the steps involving. What is, we will see what is one by one actually. So, what is the project initiation? This phase involves the identifying the, identifying the need of the project, defining the scope of the work and develop a project chapter. The project chapter is a formal document that authorizes the project and outline its key goals and objective and constraints. First of all, we have to initiate the project. For initiation of the project, we have to start the project chapters actually. The project chapter what is involving here? The outline of the project, what is the aim of the project and objectives of the project and constraints. What are the constraints we have? Next, we have the project planning. How we have to plan the project? We will see in this, in this step. The phase involves developing a detailed project plan which includes includes the project schedule, budget, risk management plan and communication plan. This is very, very crucial in the planning stage, okay. The project schedule outlines the task that needs to be com completed, the other, the order, order in which th they need to complement, com completed, okay. So, and the duration of the each, each task, for example, we having uh, n number of steps, okay. N one step, what is the task, what, how much time required to complete the task that you have to plan here, okay. The project budget outlines and estimate the cost of the project and risk management plan identified the potential risk to the project and intimation strategies, okay. So, mitigation strategies, these are the very crucial in the planning stage. Coming to the execution stage, what is the execution stage? The project execution, this phase involves the carrying out the work work as a planned, what is the work you have to plan that you have to be executed in the site actually. The project manager is responsible for the overseeing the execution of the project and may also be involved in the tasks such as the managing resources, monitoring progress and resolving the issues, okay. Here the project manager role will comes here. Project manager means he can, you can call it a PM actually. So, he is not a prime minister of India, but he is a pro project manager, okay. So, the project manager will be uh, take care of all the execution uh, execution procedure okay next the what is the next step is the project monitoring and control so what is the monitoring process how you have to control the risk factors here this phase involves the tracking the project's progress and making adjustment to the plan as needed okay the project manager uses a variety of tools and the techniques to monitor the project pro project progress so so you, you no need to go uh, physically to the site okay he has to use any number of tools on any number of monitoring pro processes, okay. So, such as end values of the ma management and critical path analysis. If the project is failing, falling behind the schedule or over budget, the project manager may, may need to take the adjustment of the plan. For example, the project is standard 100 crores, okay. It, it is crossing the 100 crores, but the project is not completed. So, what we have to do? We have to uh, increase the uh, timings of project, okay, and we have to cut, cut short the, wherever the money is not required, we have to cut short and we have to streamline the project, okay, within the budget. So, after completion of the monitoring and controlling, we have to close the project, okay. So, the, this phase involves the completing the project and delivering the product to the service to the client, okay. What are the product or service? We have to give the handout to the client, okay. The project manager is responsible for the closing out all the contracts finalizing the payments and releasing the resources. So, all this will be comes in the project management steps involving, okay. So, next step is the project failure. So, we are talking about the risk factors, right. So, this will comes here. So, what are the different failures in the project? So, pure planning, for example, you are not planned properly. What happened? The ultimate it will lead to the failure, right. So, that is that is the first one. The inadequate planning can lead to the delays 
cost overturns and quality of the problem okay next pure communication so whatever you are having the knowledge that means project uh, planning is there but you are not communicating the next level so in that case also what will happen it will be going to it will lead to the failure of the project the pure communication between the stakeholders can be lead to the misunderstanding and disputes and delays okay next scope creep so what is the scope is there for the project you are increasing the during so that is not in the uh, actual in the planning but you are increasing the uh, what do you call during of the project duration okay so that also leads to the project failure so correct right? okay the scope creep is when the scope of the work increases during the project which can lead to the delay or cost overturns and quality problems okay next will comes under the unrealistic expectation so so we cannot expect some things in the project actually that will be comes under comes here okay that is also leads to the project but you have to that also leads to the project failure but you have to cut short that also in the project planning okay unrealistic expectation from the client or contractor can lead to the disappointment for the disappointment and conflicts okay so unforeseen foreseen risks so, okay even well managed projects can affected by the un foreseen risk such as the bad weather natural disasters economic downwards okay so in this case in, in this step what happened for example this is a summer region okay but monsoon but but uh, we have a tufan okay you, you have a uh, rains throughout the week, week so you are not going to construct anything in the site okay that week will be delay actually that is also that is also unavoidable such situation so that is also you have to consider for the delaying we have to put the cushion for the period okay this all will be the project failures actually okay so thank you thank you very much for this project